here we are. We're going to do a full vlog tour of the city of Costa Mesa. Which we're in right now. <laughs> well, not technically. <laughs> we're in a spot that if you lived in Costa Mesa, you would come here all the time. But anyways, Costa Mesa is one of our favorite cities, and it kind of, I feel like, gets lost by its neighbors. I mean, because it's next to Newport Beach and Irvine, which are obviously much more famous cities. But Costa Mesa has a ton of stuff going for it. And it could be the perfect city. It might be, so just stay tuned. <laughs> What's up everybody? I'm Sean Dazad. And I'm Courtney Dazad. And we're with Keller Williams Realty right here in Orange County, California. And if this is your first time at Channel and you want to know everything about working, eating, sleeping, living, and playing in Orange County, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the little bell so you're notified every time a new video comes out. Now we get so many calls from people either looking to buy or sell a home in Orange County and we absolutely love it. So whether you're thinking about moving to, moving from, or moving within Orange County, either give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back. Let's talk about Costa Mesa. Where are we right now? So we are, well, te okay, we're in the back bay. So we're technically Newport Beach. Mm -hmm. And behind us is a bit of Corona Mar. But just on the other side of, you know, the road right here, is east side Costa Mesa. So it's uh, right, you know, steps away from here. Yeah, so if you live in Costa Mesa, uh, you will likely be going to the back bay quite often because it's just which a nice- Which we have. Yeah, which is just- Many times. It's just a nice place, you know, to go walking, hiking- Running. Walk, running, walk your dog, see a hawk, like I see one right now. Yes. Um, yeah, but yeah, there's a lot of it's wildlife. It's a nature preserve or something. Yeah, well, oh, pro tip though, if you do live near the back bay, do not let your dogs and cats outside because they will get eaten. Um, I have friends who have made that mistake because this is true wildlife. There's coyotes, bobcats, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. So where do you want to start? Do you want to start with East Side Costa Mesa? Because East Side Costa Mesa is a great neighborhood. Yeah, so all, we know it's your favorite neighborhood in all of Orange County, if not mm -hmm. the world. So, <laughs> you know, so East Side Costa Mesa is an amazing area because, okay, now let's just get this out of the, out of the way right now. If, okay, I'm not a wine connoisseur, but you know, let's just say if I was and I was relating weather to wine, yeah, East Side Costa Mesa probably has the best wine or weather, weather. in the world. Like, in the world, for I mean, sure. It better is, than Newport. Yeah, even. even better than Newport, right? Yeah. So it's just just amazing because the, the marine layer, and especially in the summer months, kind of you know hits overhead. In Newport, it takes a while for it to burn off. Yeah. Whereas in East Side Costa Mesa, it burns off earlier so yeah. basically you just get to enjoy yeah just amazing amazing weather i cannot stress enough enough how amazing the weather is here yeah and you might be hearing right now we are directly under the flight path of john wayne airport so yeah and, yeah. and as far as that goes okay one thing is that yes if you're listening for it you will hear well, you it you can hear it when you're directly under which is right here <laughs> yeah, exactly. but there's no it's houses like literally flying overhead yeah there's no houses right where we yeah, are yeah but like you know i've actually you know sold properties where people you know have like you know let's say they were trying to persuade people not to buy and they're like oh don't you hear the airport noise and my yeah, mom because actually, they were tenants and they didn't want yeah <laughs> they didn't <laughs> and want it was the funny i was like wait <laughs> airport noise because i mean my mom actually had a property like a couple of doors down and I'm like, I never really noticed it. I'm like, but then if you listen for it, you're like, okay, I guess it's there. But really, again, with double pane windows, and really, you you won't really hear the airplane. Yeah, noise. I've actually worked just across the street from here, and so we were directly under the flight path, and I didn't really notice it. You just kind of get used to it. Yeah, so, and, and what East yeah. Coast Mesa offers is that it's right, again, right next to the back bay. It's right next to Newport, you know, Newport Beach, basically, and... It's just, it's just an amazing, amazing area. Yeah, and I love the homes in East Side Costa Mesa. They're so cute, so eclectic. Um, and 17th Street's right here too. Mm -hmm. So 17th Street. So explain what uh, is yeah. seven? That's another part of our tour. So what is 17th? So Street? So 17th Street is basically this the retail hub or one of them in yeah. Costa Mesa. And one of there's many. There's retail many hubs. hubs. Yeah, and that's so why Costa Mesa any, again is the yeah. like perfect city because you have some of the best shopping, dining, entertainment choices in the world truly, right here truly but okay let's just kind of we'll stick with east side costa mesa for right now so 17th street 
what you have is you have tons of different grocery stores. You have Sprouts. Technically, um, Mother's Market is on 19th Street, but it's really close by here. Again, you know, that Eastside Costa Mesa area, which are these are two big natural health food stores. They get a lot, like, if you're really interested in organic foods yeah. and all that stuff, you know, you're, like, you're gonna have plenty of options in these places. But then, of course, you also have just uh, banks, you have like, you know, like cellular stores, you have just so many different, you have that donut yeah, shop, have, right? That donut shop's really good oh, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's the name of that thing? Sidecar donuts? Oh yeah, yeah. sidecar donuts. So, so good. good. Yeah. yeah. So, and, and then you have Crack Shack. <laughs> yeah, Crack Shack. So, yeah, that is really good eating right yeah, there. Yeah. So Crack Shack is a restaurant from of Richard Blaze. So yes, and I, I have a you know again <laughs> a man crush a man crush on Richard Blaze because <laughs> he always cooks it like like again whenever on Top Chef, amazing food. But yeah. basically, this is his one of his restaurants, mm -hmm. and it's fried chicken actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm not a really big fried chicken fan, but they make it where it's pretty light and just it's very yeah. fresh and mm -hmm. it's just really good. Yeah, they have really good sandwiches too. Yeah, and then so that's kind of Eastside Costa Mesa for you. And then as we kind of venture out now, like you know, kind of fairly close by is basically where you have the fairgrounds. Mm -hmm. And the fairgrounds is actually kind of this cool. It's called the Orange County Fair and Events Center, I believe. And basically, this is where they have a pretty huge swap meet, mm -hmm. and it's like I think 400 vendors. I mean, it's pretty yeah. huge. And also, they have the Orange County Fair. I mean, so yeah. this is where you have. Again, it's a pretty good size fair too. Actually, yeah. you know, so you get all those, you know, fair kind of festivities. Mm -hmm. And then they also have lots of concerts there and yeah. comedians. I mean, I think Trevor Noah is going to be there. And Cool and the Gang is playing apparently. <laughs> you know, really recent yeah. stuff. In fact, I actually saw Cool and the yeah. Gang here years ago, but. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, so basically you have, you know, again, it's really cool venues. Mm -hmm. And so, I, you know, that's a nice little spot. And then next to it actually is Orange Coast College. So. Yeah. That's Orange a community Ca college. Yeah. A very big community college. Yeah, huge. People love it because it's, you know, one, it's a very highly ranked community college. Mm -hmm. And it's a fast track your way to getting into, like, say, Cal State school or a university, like, you know, like a UC, a UC school. school. Yeah. yeah. So, and since UC Irvine is right here mm -hmm. and Cal State Fullerton is very close by as well, mm -hmm. you know, if you wanted to stay local, you know, going to OCC and then fast tracking your way to either one of those schools, you know, really good options. Yeah. And then also, they, I believe that they actually have dorms. Not very many community colleges actually have dorms, mm -hmm. but because of what Orange Coast College, you know, it's a kind of a draw for people across the country, if not the world. And so some people want to just, you know, stay on the dorms there. Yeah, for sure. And as far as Costa Mesa is concerned, you have what, what I really love about the city is that it's so centrally located. It, you can get to anywhere you need to go to in Orange County, if not Southern California, because you have the 405 freeway, you have the 73 freeway, you have Newport Boulevard, so the 55 freeway, which turns into Newport Boulevard. And then you have major roads through here too. Mm -hmm. Like, so you have Harbor Boulevard, you have Bristol, you have Newport Boulevard. I mean, just a fair view. I mean, just tons of roads. And these are not small, like four lane roads. These, you know, get to eight, 10 lanes. And these are pretty big arteries. And so it's really easy to get, you know, again, taking like alternate, alternative options to get to where you need to go to. Yeah, and along Harbor Boulevard is a ton of shopping as well as a ton of car dealerships yeah, so for whatever need, reason. Yeah, if you need, you know, like a car dealership in Costa Mesa, Harbor Boulevard is going to be where you're going to find it for sure. And yeah. then also Triangle Square is actually right where at the inter like intersection basically of Newport Boulevard and Harbor Boulevard. And it's just this really cool mall that basically has just, you know, it's vertical, it's got movie theaters, it's got a bunch of things there and it's just really, you know, really centrally located right there. But as far as malls are concerned, I mean, you're not going to beat South Coast Plaza. Like, oh, yeah. South, so Coast, South Plaza, Coast Plaza is in Costa Mesa. Yeah. The granddaddy of all malls yes. in, you know, the area. And this is, uh, I love this mall. Me too. And South Coast Plaza is one of my favorite spots yeah, in the world. Yeah. It's, it's just one of those <laughs> places. It's just really well situated. It's got, mm -hmm. it just has so, I mean, it's just the, the perfect layout and it has so many shops and mm -hmm. dining options. Yeah. I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, you just have... I mean, you have high-end stores, like you got your Chanel's, your, your, your Hermes, your Saks Fifth Avenue, your, you know, that kind of stuff. But then you have like Forever 21 or, or Gap and that kind of thing. So you have like, you have the whole spectrum of shops like at, at your disposal here. Well, and then also it has some, some absolutely fantastic restaurants. We love Den Tai Fung and oh, we yeah. love Paradise Dining, yes. Dynasty. Those if are If you love dumplings, these yeah. are two fantastic really really good options too yeah those are just two of them and then if we're talking about dining just up the road from south coast plaza is soco yes which also has some really good restaurant options so including the, taco maria yeah and it does have okay so soco is like the south coast uh, like southern california collection i believe yeah and so basically it's just like you know furniture shops and that kind of thing but also on top of that really good dining choices and like yeah. you said 
Taco Maria is one of the few Michelin star restaurants in Orange County. Mm -hmm. And that's at SoCo. And, and it's not exorbitantly expensive, too. No, it's not. You can actually go there and, I mean, look, it's not cheap, but if <laughs> for the quality that you're getting, it's yes. surprisingly, like, well-priced. Yes. So, 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 so good. Yeah. So while we're on the like topic of Michelin star restaurants, what's another one? So there's another one. It's called Hannah Ray, which is also in Costa Mesa, um, but that is oh, in... Sushi flavor. Sushi, and that's in... What's the name of the... The, the lab. Oh, yeah, because I always get the lab and... The camp. The camp mixed up. I never know which one's which. <laughs> but so explain, what are those little... It's as if they were developed by the same guy or Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so these are two themed malls. It's really cool. Like the lab's kind of, again, got that... So they're near... All, they're like, near... Counterculture kind of thing going on. Yeah, so they're near, near South Coast Plaza as well. Yeah, they're off of Bristol Street, and so super close by South Coast Plaza. And then the camp, you have more your outdoorsy kind of uh, set up there too. So you have adventure type stuff. And yeah. so, the, but yeah, like so, but the lab, they actually have some really good dining choices. Havana's, mm -hmm. I believe, is another one there too. Yeah, and um, like Sean was saying, I interrupted him, but it's more of like a counterculture, I would say, mall. So Yeah, they got Urban Outfitters. They yeah. have like these really, just really cool shops there. We really like it. It's just kind of cool mm -hmm. to go there. <laughs> so while we're talking about like the fine dining establishments and shopping, so grocery stores actually is a really strong suit of Costa Mesa. Yeah, it has some really good, you know, health grocery stores, regular grocery stores. It has two Japanese jo grocery stores. Or it larger Japanese. There's actually three that, uh, that come to mind. Yeah. But yeah, there's two larger Japanese like grocery stores. Yeah, so it has Mitsua and... Tokyo Central. Tokyo Central, yeah. And so if you're looking for Japanese, you know, produce or Japanese type of products, those are two great options. And... Tokyo Central is actually right where, you know, right where like Mesa Verde is. And this is just an amazing, you know, just like, like amazing area in Costa Mesa. Yeah. The Mesa Verde has some really cute houses. There's a golf course right there. Um, what, what are the homes like in Mesa Verde? They're, they're, they're okay. So it's Costa Mesa in general are more established properties. So, you know, you, you have South Orange County, which is a newer construction. Costa Mesa, I would say is definitely stuff that's built you know, 50s, 60s, 70s in general. You do have some newer construction, but that's what you're seeing a lot in Costa Mesa. And that's, you know, in basically Mesa Verde is no stranger to that. They have, have properties that are built a little bit older, but so they have a little bit larger lots. Some of you have, you have a lot of ranch style homes. You do have two story homes as well. So it just kind of depends, but you know, people just really love Mesa Verde because it, there's that, that variation. Courtney really loves her variety as yeah. far as properties. She doesn't like the cookie cutter, yeah. different shade of beige. And yeah. definitely you're not getting that in Costa Mesa. Yeah, for sure. Um, if you if you think of Orange County as tracked homes, Costa Mesa doesn't really have that flavor, I would say. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, it's it's an older tracked yeah, home. Yeah, it's an older tracked home, which but, just means that it looks different. Every and people property. have done things over yeah. the years. So mm -hmm. that way it kind of has a bit more like variety, a little bit more, you know, just variance there. Yeah, and people, there's also not as many, is there, what are the, H, what's the HOAs like here? Oh, there's like yeah, not that many good choices. Yeah. Yeah. So people can do what they want to their homes, whereas you know, if you live in a place like Irvine, you have you're restricted by what the HOA. Yeah, depending. Says you I mean, can do. yeah, and of course, you know, there are properties that do have HOAs. That's why you got to reach out to us to let us know what's important to you and what's not, because some people. You know, they like HOAs keeping everything uniform and clean, let's say, mm -hmm. but then they don't like HOAs because they feel like someone's, like, you know, basically bearing down upon them. They're like, this is my house. I don't want someone else to tell me what I can do with my house, provided that you're, you know, good with zoning. So Sean's talking about the zoning. We had an interesting issue. <laughs> Costa Mesa is notoriously anti-growth, I would say. So yes. let's say you want to change the zoning on your house. How is this possible? It's... <laughs> Not very easy. <laughs> it used to be not so hard, but they have their master plan, and if you mm -hmm. deviate from that, it's you challenging. Have to, you have to have a public hearing. Yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah, it's pretty tough. I mean, it used to. Yeah. I mean, and I think that there's been pushback for them to relax that because that's. But they actually nobody has challenged it yet. At least from when we. Okay, so this is just from the experience that we had. I don't think they've ever actually had someone challenge it yet. So. It, it's a pretty tough one. So I mean, if yeah. you want to change the zoning, it has to go to a ballot, and that's obviously not an easy thing to do yeah. so it just makes it a bit challenging to to go through that whole process so as much as possible stay with you know if you're gonna buy a property try to use it for what, it, what it's zoned for because yeah. it's gonna be pretty tough to change it so another cool thing about Costa Mesa is that there are a lot of lots that have ADUs so additional dwelling units um, yeah so it's it's nice to have that flexibility so you can have and you know a lot of people have additional dwellings on their properties and so that provides you know one maybe for additional family members or maybe as far as a potential rental possibility to kind of offset some of the payment basically yeah and since costa mesa is just so well known for its restaurants yes, i mean a culinary masterpiece it is i mean 
I feel like Costa Mesa has the best restaurants in Orange County. I mean, just like, like, you know, square mile for square mile, Costa Mesa has the best restaurants in Orange County. And that's, you know, in, in Fermentation Farms, I guess, was ranked number three or four in the Yelp's top 100 list. And, you know, it's getting, it's in Costa Mesa, so we're going to be trying that out. Because yeah. That well, just... I actually have a membership there, but I've never actually gone to <laughs> Not lunch. for the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, you get other things. It's a co-op, so you have to have a membership. Well, you don't have to, but to get, you know, better prices. Um, but <laughs> I've never actually eaten there, so yeah. I'm excited to go try it. So. <laughs> and as we drive over to Fermentation Farm, the question is, because we're right next to Norm's, now, is Norm's one of the best restaurants in Costa Mesa as well? What do you think about Norm's? Norm's, had I gone there, I'm sure it would have been fantastic. So what did we get? We got wild wine pot tuna milk, which is fantastic, by the way. And it's got sauerkraut, which is really interesting. And you think it wouldn't work, but it works really, really well. And then you have beef, you know, grass-fed beef chili and ramen. And we also got the yogurt, right? And we got the coconut yogurt. And that's why, you know, and to be honest, with all this, that's why we kind of consider Costa Mesa, could it be the perfect city? Because again, you're close, if you're close to the coast, mm -hmm. you got fantastic weather. Best weather in the world is in Costa Mesa. I mean, it's not cheap, but it's not like Newport, right? So it's yeah. not crazy expensive. You've got just, you know, it's got good schools in general. I mean, you know, Newport Mesa Unified School District, which is this is part of, is actually a really good school district. And the, you do offer inter-district transferability, possibly mm -hmm. actually out-of-district transferability too. Yeah. So you have options from that perspective. And then on top of that, it's just, it's just so nice. I mean, you have some of the best shopping, dining, entertainment options because you you do have the Seagram Center of the Arts and yeah. and so you have which just, is right next to South Coast Plaza yeah so you just have so many different options here that it's just hard to beat and again for like a smaller city that doesn't get the notoriety of its siblings right you know the more well-known ones like Newport Beach or Irvine mm -hmm. Costa Mesa just kind of falls on the radar but it really is a fantastic city yeah I love Costa Mesa it's one of my favorite cities in all of Orange County so that's it. That's our video on a full vlog tour of Costa Mesa, California. All of Costa Mesa. All of Costa Mesa. So you got, you know, if there's that one property that really looks amazing to you that you saw online, you want to check out and want to go see, you got to reach out to us. So either give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back.